So in the previous video, we have seen how to create a wireframe for a login page. Now let us try to create a wireframe for registration page. So what we need to do is we need to go here and add a new page. Let us give the name as register. Okay. So this is my initial screen. So it is already web small. Let us try to have some other color. Maybe a dark blue. Okay. And now let us have again add some inputs for the register page. So what we want is in the registration page we want to capture as much data as possible of the student. Okay. Uh, let's make it center and uh, let's increase the size okay now we are here okay so let us I hope this is this is almost center uh, again, we can have the same ER mock as the company name. Then we can put the logo. Let us go to register and uh, let's put the logo. Let's select some different logo. If you want to delete, just select it and click on delete button. It gets deleted. Okay. And or you can click right click it and you can delete from here. If you want to duplicate, that is also possible. Okay. Now this is the icon for registration. Okay. Now I want to add few text inputs as well as other inputs so this time i am uh, not adding any labels i'm just going for the placeholder as a label as you know already if you know html a placeholder can also act as a label so let us say name as now we are concentrating more more on placeholder let us try to have it more bolder and like that okay uh, color if you want it to be black more darker you can do that okay so this is nothing but my if you want to duplicate so duplicate and done uh, name is done let us say now email okay now I want to ask the user to put the gender so radio button fine radio is available here put as uh, my yeah. oh, let us try to use the duplicate option uh, let's increase the font see uh, actually I have zoomed out but the font is good enough but we are going with 18 font so it depends okay uh, let us uh, you can all also do control C and control V okay uh, okay and uh, also we can have so we are not putting any labels here okay the next is uh, we can tell whether we can put some drop down option of uh, ct okay so suppose this is the option of ct so you see we cannot see the drop down contents okay we are just emulating something okay this is not uh, like a actual web page okay and let us say that we want the birth date okay so we are telling to put a label 
and this is birth date okay it's like that let's put it again as 18 form okay and this is the date pick area the person can put the birth date so there are various options here you can see on the left hand side you can select uh, any of the different uh, inputs here you can put progress bar you can add a slider you can add video you can add maps tables okay uh, banner you can provide a search so uh, everything is uh, available here there are different shapes available here you can add different shapes you can add different callouts annotations can be added navigation is also available here so suppose you want to put two or three links here you just need to drag down it and you can change the name so if you want to make this link as active also just if you remove the star that becomes active and uh, this way you can uh, this link 3 is now the current page and link 1 and link 2 are the other page where the user can go also there are different menus available here okay so right now we don't need this so we, will delete, we are deleting this and we can add the bar charts flow charts okay uh, uml diagrams can be added also different ios specific contents are available so if anyone wants to design a wireframe for an ios app that is also available here uh, IO specific design it's looking so cool like it's looking like a realistic web page okay or a realistic app bootstrap option is also available here you can put a bootstrap button so let us uh, put a bootstrap button here okay and we are telling this is a uh, pressed button okay uh, and what is this button for yes this is for register or sign up okay fine so we are ready with our register or sign up page where we are asking user to enter the name email uh, selecting whether it's male or female the gender and selecting the ct and word so you can see yes yeah, i'm trying to click on this uh, this is not an actual drop down it's not an actual date picker but yes it is a visual uh, representation of all those content okay so this way you can create a simple register page uh, now if you want to go back to the pages you can click here and you can see the login page i can see the register page yes i have not written login and register so it's understandable okay now if you can see also here the login of this and the register button is looking different so you can have various type of designs also okay drop down also is also different various things are available here. okay now uh let us try to go back to our pages okay this is what we are saying is uh, login page and register, register page if you want to rename it let us say login okay good good okay now let us say we want to go to our main menu so you need to click on this m icon you need to click on save first because we want to save this project so click save so blank project is created let us give this name uh, learn learning okay uh, this is the name of my project now let us go to the dashboard So you can see various options are available here in this dashboard okay and uh, we can duplicate it transfer to another account okay it will show my recent uh, projects pages everything is available here in the next video we will see how to create a simple home page of a user for adding the details thank you